Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another segment of the East Brunswick Advisory Health Council's Wellness Spotlight. It's not healthy living the life of a couch potato. After all, the more you're on your tush, the more you'll turn to mush. That's why more people who want to be healthier are getting off the sofa and onto their feet. In addition to beautiful parks and a variety of gyms, East Brunswick has another great resource. It's where children and adults go to meet new people, listen to great music on a kickin' sound system, and have a lot of fun dancing. So we're taking a road trip out of the Channel 3 studios here at the library and going over to Alluring Ballroom Dance Studio on Edgeboro Road. Alluring Ballroom caters to new and experienced dancers and is the home of many national dance champions. You're invited to join me while I speak with dance experts Natalia and Christina on how dancing is part of a wellness lifestyle for adults and children. Let's go and maybe I'll get to dance. Natalia, welcome to the Wellness Spotlight. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to be part of your show. Natalia, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, uh, you're from Russia. Mm -hmm. What was it that got you so interested in dancing? Um, Russia is a very popular sport, first of all. A lot of children dance in Russia, different kinds of dancing, like ballet, ballroom, um, and hip hop and jazz and everything. but. I don't know how that happened. I just fell in love in ballroom dancing right away. And I remember this day when I just saw little children dancing on the stage. They dance uh, walls, and that was it. I want to be there on the stage, and I were here in the six months. <laughs> how old were you when you first started dancing? Seven years old. At seven? Yeah, I was seven years old. Okay, and uh, you studied ballroom? Ballroom. I start with the ballroom, but later on I study ballet and folk. And too. where in Russia are you originally from? I'm originally from, from Ukraine, and uh, my uh, native town is a Kerch. And did you compete in Russia? I compete in Russia. I never compete in America. I came here like a coach already, and all my professional dancing career was in Russia. For our viewers that aren't that familiar with dance, what does ballroom consist of? Ballroom dancing is, I would say, if we're talking about international ballroom dancing, this is the 10 dances. There's 10 dances, ten dances that are under generally. the umbrella of ballroom dance. Correct. Okay. Five of them is from Latin division and five of them from standard division. Latin means cha-cha, samba, rumba, jive, and pasa doble. And the standard division is a walls, tenga, quick step, Venice walls, and foxtrot. And you do all of those? Yes, you must do all of those 10 dances to be a ballroom dancer back uh, in Russia, back those days. Now it's allowed to do either Latin or standard, but when I used to compete and learn how to dance, we must know 10 dances in case to be present in a competition. I see. And how old were you when you first came to the United States? I was 23 years old. 23? 33. 33. Yes. <laughs> okay, and uh, what made you decide to settle in East Brunswick? Um, we actually um, moved from Brooklyn, and uh, this was a family decision to move from the big city into the more quiet atmosphere, <laughs> which is I'm really happy we did. And there's good schools here, and I have a son who went to the school here, and he now in college, and I'm really happy with the environment I brought him. <laughs> Your studio is beautiful. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about Alluring Ballroom. You're the owner yes. and director. Yes, and founder. And founder, and uh, tell us about some of the things that you offer here. Um, first of all, I would like to say Alluring Ballroom was established in 2004. We used to have studio in Spotswood, and after we grow and we will need more space, uh, we move to East Brunswick, and we're here from 2006. We offer very different type of uh, and kind of dancing at the studio now. We used to start just with the ballroom, 
but uh, now we offer, I would say, everything but not tap because for the tap dancing you need to have a special floor. That's the only thing we're not doing in the studio. Uh, but both on Latin, jazz, hip hop, a modern ballet, Zumba, Zumba Tomic for children, uh, Mommy and Me, rhythmical dance, creative movement, everything is available in, ballroom, in our little ballroom. And what's the range in age of the students who come here and socialize here? Okay, actually, thank God you're sitting because everybody just almost collapsed when they say our younger students six weeks old. Six weeks? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> six <laughs> weeks old, yeah. And this is our very unique class with mom and me. When mom put her little children in this kangaroo yes. bags and they dance. And they dance? Yes. And this like is that. Great time together. <laughs> I used to do that with my daughter when she was a little baby. Yes. But, uh, that now it's a I great didn't know you have classes to do that. Here we go. So now if you know somebody who would like to get back in shape and, you know, just tone the body after get baby, and it's a great way to get back in shape. Well, you've touched on something that really is the reason why I thought it was an excellent idea to do a show on dance for the Wellness Spotlight and to feature Alluring Ballroom because there are a lot of reasons why people take dance. Could you touch on some of the health benefits of dance? Definitely. Uh, most important uh, health benefit nowadays is the stress release. We live under the big stress. We have it everywhere, at the street, at the work, and family. And I know myself, when I get here and the door open behind my back, everything disappear, and all my students feel the same. So that's a really important benefit when you can start taking dance classes. It's a really great way to socialize, meet the new friend, find something new in your life learn something new. Of course, dancers have a really strong body because the one hour, one hour and a half, two hour of dancing fly really fast, but all muscles work. Everything in your body works. We have strong bones, we have flexible joints, and clear mind. Dancers usually, it sounds a little bit surprising, but um, scientists prove the dancer's brain work much better because to memorize all these little details and uh, train your muscle memory helps. And creativity. And creativity, yes. And it's also discipline you. Uh, when you have your lesson scheduled during the week, you're getting ready for this lesson, you organize for this lesson, you uh, better work with your weight management, you know, you're thinking about being more beautiful, more tall, uh, like some of my students said, this is their life-changing decision. When lady, for example, ladies, they change their outfit completely after they start taking dance classes, they're not wearing any more jeans and sneakers only, they're thinking about how to wear the beautiful dress, beautiful pants and heels and all that stuff. It's real beautiful. And you focus on posture. Um, you know, as a chiropractor, I look at posture <laughs> all the time. Your posture is excellent. And I'm sure that your students think about posture, too, because you have to carry your frame a certain Absolutely, way. Absolutely, because the ballroom dancing is a couple, right? It's a partnership. And our body designed this way, create this way. We have to be upright and very uh, nice poised to be a comfortable partner in the couple. So that's why as, as soon as you step on a dance floor, you have to be straight. You have to look good. You have to breathe well. Because if you are collapsing your spine, you probably know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Your lung is open, you breathe well, and you can move without losing balance. So it's great. You're getting your heart rate up. You're getting oxygen into your body. You're using your muscles. You know, you're burning off steam that builds sure. up in your head from sure. the day. And you're listening to great music that you enjoy. What's That's so bad so about that? That's and you're hanging around with people who enjoy excellent. doing what you're doing. This is just wonderful. <laughs> now, you aren't the only teacher here. You have a whole team of teachers sure. that work with you. Could you talk a little bit about the staff at Alluring Ballroom? 
all our teachers are extremely talented. I'm very picky. This is some teacher who very good in hustle, for example. I know you like hustle. <laughs> and there's some teacher who's a master in the standard. I have a teacher who is a brilliant in Latin, and I like the, this way they specialize in this direction so they can bring 150%. So you have that. specialists yeah. in each area of dance to be yes. able to cater to beginners as well as advanced dancers. Absolutely, absolutely. We raise uh, very good social dancers in the studio and we raise the national champions here. You know, when I speak to people, more and more people today are complaining that even though there are so many channels on cable TV, there's nothing to watch. People are tired of staying home, especially during in the winter time, during the, the, the very cold months or during the very hot months in the summer mm -hmm. when people don't really want to do things outside because it's too uncomfortable. But they want to do something inside to be able to get their body moving, to be able to stay healthier and also lose weight and be able to socialize. For somebody who's interested in starting out with dance, they don't want to go to the gym, or if they're working out at a gym, they want to be able to cross train and add new components to their workout and include dance as part of that. How does somebody know where to begin? It's very, very simple. All you need to know just to pick the day and pick the time and step to the studio. <laughs> it will help you right away. We have a beginner classes, group classes. Uh, if you do not feel comfortable in a group type of classes format, we're always available for individual instruction. Do you have to come with a partner? No, you're not supposed to come with a partner. We have an instructor who will be your partner. This is the great way to start because after you learn some steps, you feel more confident so you can join the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, for beginners, it's always for me a beautiful experience when after the first class I hear, oh my God, why I'm waiting for, I was waiting for so long, why I did not start it earlier. It's so easy, it's so natural. Dancing is a natural thing. It's nothing complicated. So, and lots of people are good dancers inside, they just don't know about that. You also give your students an opportunity to be able to socialize with other dancers. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, once a month we have a social, we have um, beautiful music, we're setting up our studio like a nightclub atmosphere, we're putting some chairs, tables around, and our students who learn some steps can bring their friends and just maybe watch, maybe dance, maybe just find a new friends and enjoy yourself. Also, we have something very unique in the studio, like a social for children. Once a month, we have a social for our children. That's a special fun to watch. <laughs> you have a terrific sound system. The studio is beautiful. Uh, Thank you. And, and what time do your socials typically run? For, Once a month? Uh, usually, this is the 8 o'clock to 11. 8 to 8 11? p.m. to 11 p.m. And for children, 6 to 8. It's typical time. And would people need to go to your website to be able to learn more about mm -hmm. that and find out the times? They can call us directly for 732-698-1161 or they can visit our website alluringballroom.com. Excellent. So I'm here now with Christina who's also a partner and one of the teachers at Alluring Ballroom. Welcome to the Wellness Spotlight, Christina. Thank you so much. Now your specialty is working with children. Yes, that's right. Tell us a little bit about you and why you love working with kids. Um, I have uh, my kids. I have two kids, a uh, boy and a girl. Boy five years old and girl eight years old. They inspire me to create this program for kids and to work with the kids. I love kids. And what type of dancing does your children do? Then uh, my children dance ballroom, of course. Ballroom. Ballroom, yes, and jazz. And jazz. Yes. And and yourself, uh, are you a trained dancer? Yes, I'm trained dancer. I was a professional jazz and um, like um, a show dancer. I was working on a big cruise ships and in a big show programs. How did you and Natalia get together? Uh, we've met uh, in the studio because um, my um, daughter, she said, I want to take ballroom now because she was dancing with me in the jazz and I said, okay, let's try it because she saw the oldest uh, 
big show programs on TV, like I think you can dance, Dancing with the Stars. So she said, I want to try different styles. And I brought her here and we've met with Natalia. Why do you think there's so much interest these days in dancing and why dancing is appealing to kids so much, especially on television where you see so many dance shows that appeal to younger generations? Yeah, dancing make you feel happy. You feel in, in, you, f you listen to enjoyable music and kids especially in, in this age, they love uh, any kind of music. They see show on TVs and they want to dance like they do on TV. So that comes from, I think it's more from TV, so, and uh, kids ha stay active, you know, they still, they inspire to take uh, good health choices and uh, exercise more. Do you have to be good at sports to be able to learn how to dance? No, you don't have to. We're going to uh, teach you here to be good in sports. You're going to be good in sports here. We're going to, uh, we, uh, especially because I work with the small kids, that's what's important for us to create good posture, to feel, uh, to, uh, to let kids feel happy in the class, to have some fun in the classes. Now, Natalia was saying that your youngest student is six weeks old? Yes, yes. We take classes, mom and me, and this class we call now Chacha with the baby. Chacha with the baby? Chacha with the baby, <laughs> yeah. So moms work out, and kids just, that's for kids' first music classes. So, uh, because the musicality, it's also a very uh, good reason to take dance classes, right? So you listen to music, you listen to new type of music, um, like salsa, samba, cha-cha. So for kids, uh, kids feel happy. And especially when they with the mom, they even more happy. Sometimes they go to sleep during the class. I think so, that's brilliant because there are so many women who drop their kids off at babysitting when they're working out at the gym and they're apart from their children and a lot of mothers don't really, some women like time away from their children, men and women do, yes. but some want to be with their kids more and this is a perfect opportunity and you know working out with the baby sure beats uh, working out with weights. Yes, yes, that's specially, that's true and plus you socialize with another mother so you have a, like big company then they go outside together on the playground together, they're becoming friends. Now so. is it limited to just moms or can dads do it too? Dads can welcome too. <laughs> Always welcome. Okay, and um, in addition to the, the this type of mommy and me class, what other uh, classes do you offer for kids? It's a rhythmic, a rhythmic classes from three to five years old. Uh, when they uh, learn the rhythm, they learn first uh, choreography, uh, first ballet they class. They learn? First choreography, yeah. We did small. We do small dances for so, kids. So, so you break them, the dance down. Yeah, but you they, chunk they, it down to, to they, parts. They already memorize them. Uh -huh. So it's very good for them to train the brain. Uh -huh. So they memorize and they have more memory capacity. So and it's prevent memory loss in the future also. Do you have any special needs children that take classes to, to we dance? We don't have yet, but we welcome any kids. We have individual classes for them and a special program for them. So. What type of dance do you find kids wanting to learn these days? Uh, it's uh, fun music. We start with the music. We, we find music they like first. And then it's, um, it is, it's uh, like we're looking for the rhythm, the right rhythm for kids. And then they can memorize it, they remember it, and then we can, already our first kids, they perform in two years old. At two, At performing. two, they performing. Two and a half, they had this winter show, and they performing at two and a half. Now, Natalia was talking about the big dance competition going on down in Baltimore. Yes. Are you going to be taking the kids down to perform there, not, too? Not yet. Not this year, but maybe in the future, yes. Uh, and now, uh, national, they start to dance from six years old. But our students, uh, they four, five, not six yet. But I think next year, they're going to be ready. Um, Christina, some people just walk right out on the dance floor, and they start dancing. And then there's other people where it's the most terrifying thing that they could possibly do. What do you say to people like that? Just, just come and try, you know, just uh, put the music you like. First, let's try with the music you like. And uh, forget everything uh, at the door, you know. When you come to dance, 
you come to feel better about yourself. And you could always take a private lesson you if you're self-conscious. Yes, of course, of course. But even with the group lessons, you're there with people who are just like you, and everybody's there to support one another. Nobody laughs at each other or is made to feel self-conscious. Of course, of course. They, uh, everybody who comes here, they want to learn something new. They want to feel better about themselves. So just come and enjoy it. What are some of the biggest changes that you've seen in the kids from the time that they first come in and start taking lessons to the time that they become more advanced students? Yeah, they're more focused, they're more concentrated, uh, they have uh, more, uh, better results in school. They do better in school. They do better in school. Um, they they look more beautiful, they have posture, everyone. You can see the child, if child dance, you can see uh, in the posture, in the posture how he presents himself. Self-confidence, that's a big issue for kids. The more they dance, the better they come, the more self-confidence they, they become. And if a child is interested in taking lessons, uh, does their parent have to be present when the classes are in session? Uh, they don't have to be here. Uh, it depends how old the child is. Of course, if it's two years old, uh, I ask all moms to stay in the studio because uh, sometimes kids just want to talk to mom. It's okay. But if uh, kids are uh, older than five years old, we don't need parents. And I see you have a comfortable area where parents can wait or socialize with one another yeah, while the kids are on the TV, floor. we have TV, we have magazines. <laughs> They're welcome to stay here. How long is a class for a child? Uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, the youngest kids, 30 minutes. I see. And how many classes does a child typically need to take before they start to feel comfortable? I would say uh, one or two a week. Uh -huh. And for how many weeks? Um, Ten weeks. That's to start. I see. To feel to feel comfortable. Now, are classes offered all year long, or are the classes offered consistent with the school year? Uh, classes we have all year long. We have just small breaks when school close. We uh, don't have group lessons, but private lessons we still have in the studio. So even if a kid does not go away to camp, they could still take classes here at yes, a Loring Ballroom. Yes. Yes. And in this summer we'll have uh, summer camp, dance camp. So. You have dance camp here? Yes, we'll have this year. Tell we'll us about it. <laughs> I never heard of dance camp. A uh, dance camp. They're going to come here like for maybe four and five hours. In between, they will have lunch and they will see maybe some movie about dancing. They will have different style. They will have warm up, maybe yoga warm up. We'll, we'll make a different program for kids. What's your favorite dance movie of all time, Christina? Favorite dance movie. I love all of them, but Dance With Me, that's... Da Fred Astaire and Ginger yes, Rogers. Yes, that's the beautiful that's one of them. That's one of my favorites, too. Yes. Thank you so much, Christina. Thank you for having me. This is a wonderful program that you have, and uh, even though your children aren't here right now for me to thank personally, mm -hmm. I'd like to thank them for giving you the idea to be able to do that. It's great that people like you are doing things to be able to help our children not only grow up healthier, but have very wholesome things to do in East Brunswick. Thank you so much, and I invite all of you with the kids, come and enjoy our studio. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. In addition to Alluring Ballroom, you have Alluring Ballroom Boutique. Yes. Just one door down from Alluring Ballroom, where you service the dance community with uh, excellent clothing, and supplies. Tell us a little bit about your beautiful store. We just opened the store. The reason why we decide to open it because we actually do not have anything similar in the area and all our customers need to travel Brooklyn or Manhattan to get special shoes, special practice clothes or clothes they need for the competition or showcases. So we decide to open the store and that really helps. You know it, it's an important point because you know, we were talking about this a little bit earlier off camera, Natalia, where when people want to learn a sport, usually there's a big investment in equipment, whether it's skiing or golf, uh, you know, football, baseball, there's a lot of equipment involved. But for dance, all you need, all to you have need is a pair of shoes. shoes. And oh. you have a, a tremendous assortment of different shoes. Can you tell us a little bit about your line of shoes and also some of the different forms of clothing that you have? Because I know you have regular clothing that people can wear on the dance floor, things that, mm -hmm. that are light and breathable, and then 
really uh, beautiful things for performance work. Yes, our shoes is very good quality from all over the world. We working with the Grand Pix. This is the company from Europe, and they are doing a beautiful line of shoes and clothes, practice clothes. The, this line was fine, um, created by uh, ballerina, and she actually knows from inside what is the good for dancers. Uh, the fabric we use for our practice uh, wear is uh, certified fabrics, brisable, um, eco friendly, and it's really good on your skin. Uh, all our customers who tried it once don't want to switch to the different anymore. Because there's a difference between a shoe you would wear dancing and a regular street shoe. A very big difference. And the same thing if you will try a run in the morning, maybe for your uh, warm up and the dress shoes, you will feel the same difference if you will dance, not in dance shoes in your classes. And uh, for example, for Latin dancing, we need a little higher heel. It's going to keep your balance slightly forward, and uh, that will help you to do right steps. And for the walls, foxtrot, tenga, or standard dancing, you have to lower. You have to wear a lower heel, which is really comfortable um, for your body to keep the vertical position. So actually, we we have all those shoes available for children and for adults. Yes, I see. You have a full line not only for adults but also for children and for boys and men and for girls and women. And not only for ballroom dancers, we have. Um, items for um, gymnastic, for jazz, for tap, for ballet, uh, for everybody who likes dance, all kind of dance. That's great. So uh, people can take lessons and they don't have to travel very far to be able to get a good pair of shoes or clothing to be able to do it in a safe and comfortable way. That's make our life much easier. At and, a, and do you have a website for Alluring Ballroom yes, Boutique? Yes, yes. You can go to our uh, main website, alluringballroom.com, and you can link it from there. So Excellent. it's right in the front page. And what are your hours here? We open 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Friday, and we open on Saturday until 2 p.m. Thank you. So thank you for joining us for another segment of the East Brunswick Advisory Health Council's Wellness Spotlight. I'm Dr. Ken Friedman, president of the East Brunswick Advisory Health Council, with Natalia and Christina at Alluring Ballroom, reminding you to put your dance shoes on and come on down to Alluring Ballroom and check out the terrific programs that they have here to help you have more wellness in your life through dance, and reminding you that wellness works when you work it.